Hey guys and welcome. We just got to Reykjavik. Is that how you pronounce it? I may be pronouncing it wrong. Reykjavik, Iceland. We just landed. We just got to our hotel. We're on what one hour of sleep? Did you even sleep an hour? To be honest, no. <laughs> if that and we have to leave in 30 minutes because my book does a food walking tour around the city. I think it's like three hours long and we get to try all the Icelandic foods. So of course we're gonna take you guys with us because we're gonna be trying all the foods and that's what we do. So I wanted to just tell you guys how we ended up here in Iceland because it's a little bit of a story. It's really cool. Brent is like the most hardworking person I know. I'm so grateful for him. So do you want to tell them why we're here? Yeah, basically BMW does this special program where they take care of their employees. If they uh, are uh, basically do their job the best they can, hardworking, um, basically, they call it Profiles and Achievement, and I've won Profiles and Achievement the last six years, the Platinum. There's a bunch of different, there's like Bronze, Gold, all well, the top Platinum people in the U.S. get to go on trips like this, so, yeah. Yeah, the top, so I have, what is it? I think it's like the top eight employees in each region in the United States get to go on the Victory right. Lap, which is the trip that they do once a year with his work. So that's what this is. Although they haven't done a trip the last two years because obviously COVID. Oh, this is the first trip that we've been on um, because obviously he won it the last two years. There was no trip. And then the first year that he won it, they went to Hawaii. But I was nine months pregnant with Lakeland, so we couldn't go. So this is the first trip that we have been on. So it's super exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a really, like he said, it's a really good achievement for his work. And we're with a bunch of people from, you know, his company across the United States. So it should be really fun. They've organized everything. There's a bunch of tours that we can do or we can just, you know, do what we want. They've had dinners for us every night at different spots throughout the city. So it should be a fun trip. We'll take you guys on um, a few stuff that we do. We're going on a big adventure tomorrow. So we're definitely going to bring the GoPro for that and we're definitely going to film that one. So it should be fun. Yeah. yeah, we'll do a room tour a little bit later and then we've got to get ready for the food tour. <laughs> yeah. This is our hotel room. The bathroom. There's me. Oh. The pooper. The shower. Closet. Coffee machine. Cups. Vodka gin. Storage space up there. Uh, Snackies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Hotel. This first dish that we had was absolutely amazing. It was Arctic char baked in honey and lemon with cherry tomatoes and almonds on top. Next up, we had Icelandic traditional meat soup, white ale, and fermented shark. Okay. Right. Okay. Three, two, Three, one, one. scow! Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Really? five chews is all you that can do. That wasn't a bad. I'll be worse. Ten times. Sample how Icelandic words they can be long and they look ridiculous a lot of the time. And that's partly because a lot of the time there are two or three or four words just jam into one. So for example this one, this is Skola Burmustivus. That basically means school stone wall streets. There are three three words all jammed into one. But we do this a lot with our words. I don't know why. We're not doing anyone any favors by doing it. <laughs> This was our favorite dish of the day. We had lobster tacos with date puree, pickled red onions, lime, and parmesan. Well, guys, this is Hatgrimskirka, the name of the church. And this is a Lutheran church uh, named after the biggest poet that we had here in the 17th century called Hatgrim of Peterson. And uh, the construction of this church started in the year 1944. The last stop of the day was dessert right across the street from the church and we had an Icelandic pastry along with rye bread ice cream with whipped cream and caramelized rhubarb syrup. So it's it was, brown mustard. Yeah, brown mustard sauce, like a sweet ketchup, and then I think this one is like, it said it was mixed with like mayonnaise and relish or something. Yes. And onions. This is actually part of the food tour that we did on Monday, but because it was so busy, we just got like a voucher to try it later. So we're finally here and we're going to give it a try. Did you try yours already? Yeah, it was really good. It was good. Did you like yeah. it? Oh, and the hot dog is actually, what is it, lamb? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that is really good. The sauces are like really sweet. Yeah. With the onions, it gives it like a perfect crunch. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like it. It's very good. Mm -hmm. So I'm not the professional food analyzer on what is inside things, but I wanted to show you inside this hot dog, there's some crunchiness at the bottom with onion, and that's what makes the hot dog. It is super good. It's delicious. <laughs> I'm showing you how to eat the hot dog.
Okay, so do you see this view? Look at behind me. This was the welcome dinner for BMW, and they had it at the Perlem Museum in Rakebridge. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like we saw the sunset, it was gorgeous, and then now you can see like the nightlife. It is perfect. BMW knows how to do it right. And it's pretty much ending now. We have like little appetizers and some wine and some beer and stuff. So um, it's almost nine o'clock and they're gonna bus us back to the hotel and then we've got a nice adventure for tomorrow morning, which we'll be super excited. We're for sure gonna have the GoPro for that one because it involves snowmobiles. So stay tuned for that. Like driving? Yeah, it was fun. Was it fun? Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. It was our first time. Yeah. It is cold up here. The yes, kids saw it first. The kids uh, WhatsApp me. They FaceTimed us while we were on the snowmobile. And of course, I had to answer. I had to say good morning to them. Yeah, I heard you talking. I was like, what <laughs> he turns doing? around like we're going, and I have like my gloves off. I'm barely holding the phone. I'm like, what's up, kids? It was funny, but I'm just, like shocked. We're on a glacier and I had service in order to answer it. Where we're at now though, we finally don't have service. So it was like right in the beginning. So that's funny, but they got to see it. This is so cool. are all geysers hot springs
is Bailey's in this hot chocolate, which could be making it worse. Oh, so that's good medicine. It's good medicine? Okay, I might just stick to this, but you may see us in like 10 minutes and I might regret this decision. We'll have to see. Yes, I'm not sure why my phone light's on. Because it's pitch, pitch black down here. We're in the bottom of the boat and we're the only ones down here. So yeah, no one likes us. We're introverts. I don't think you guys know because we phone video has for you too. Well, I'm more of an introvert. You're more Down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Yesterday. We didn't get any footage though because we were in the private area where the retreat is at. BMW got like everyone the retreat pass, which was really nice. It was really luxurious, uh, but they didn't allow phones, so we couldn't film anything. It was a little bit of a rubble. I took a couple pictures. Brent didn't want me to. He's like a yeah, cool she follower. Was breaking the law yes well hey we wouldn't have gotten any photos if i didn't so i only took and i made sure like there was nobody else like there's no hardly anybody there so there's nobody in the background like i didn't get anybody in the background but this place is amazing as well i can't decide which one's better i'm leaning more towards this one just because this is the scenery is better here yeah and then but the it, water's better at the blue yeah blue. like the blue lagoon is more blue but this one is just beautiful so yeah we really like this one we're gonna do the seven step uh the seven step ritual next so we'll kind of film some of that we have to do like the cold plunge and the sauna and everything so we're about to do that right now <laughs> yeah, sounds like fun we're having a good time yeah we were supposed to go to the seven steps and we're still here <laughs> we're playing with the gopro i think this is like our first time like really using, really it. using it like especially a like, water feature so it is so clear like from just transitioning from here and then underwater it's really cool yeah it's pretty crazy yeah Iceland. 
Yeah, this is our last full day. We're so sad. This has been the best trip ever. I will say BMW knows how to plan a vacation. It's been so nice. They've like taken care of. This is our first day, like not with BMW. They didn't offer this as an excursion. So we decided to do this on our own. So this is the first day that we haven't been with any BMW people, which is actually kind of sad because we've enjoyed meeting like new people from all across the United States and new dealerships. And of course, like we have stuff in common with them. So it's been fun, like interacting with everybody all week. So. And also some of the excursions that we missed we can come back because this a reason yes i know brent's already saying like can we move here like, yeah. <laughs> and which is saying something because brent does not like it's so hard to get him to go on vacation and if it's international that's a whole nother thing doesn't want to do it True. so True. yeah it's been a good time a lot of fun about as high as the sun will go. It's noon, doesn't get any higher than that. <laughs> 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 